Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing who is coming towards me in love. So we have group number one, group number two, group three, and we also have group number four. So please choose your group. We're also gonna be putting some crystals on the cards now. So if you guys prefer to choose with crystals, we have group number one, group two, group three, and group number four. So please choose your group now. And let's get started on what your love message is and who is coming towards you. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's get started and see who's coming towards you and what you can expect in your love life. So we have the smoky quartz here. So it says when you fall prey to emotional vampires, when you're just too spacey and can't even, when you're embarking on a spiritual journey or a journey to pick up your dry cleaning, extra points if you're thinking, what's the difference? Arm, um, your spiritual warrior. So this is also says, who needs it? Glass half empty type space cadets. So for you guys, with smoky quartz, I always see it as a crystal that's very, very grounding. So if you guys are kind of feeling a bit emotional and you can't really handle it and you're just feeling really overwhelmed, this crystal is going to be really, really good. And I'm sorry if you see like a little fly flying around. This little guy always comes out when I'm doing readings. I, I have no idea why, honestly, <laughs> I have no idea why. So, <laughs> all right, so that is your card there. I feel like with Smoky Quartz as well, it's just a very, as I say, very good crystal for grounding, really good at getting you in your body and kind of helping you just stay calm. It's a very, very good crystal for that. So we're gonna have a look into the tarot in just a second. So let's have a look at your cards. So we have Joy, I love that, so cute. We have distinctive potential, love where you're at. Let me move these cards over a little bit. Fourth house, we have the moon, and we also have the 10th house. This is so interesting because I definitely feel like you guys are definitely in your feelings at the moment. You may actually be dealing with somebody who I might be picking up on in this reading, who is really being kind of changing out your feelings for yourself. And for some reason I read this as October Daisy. It actually says Ger Gerbera Daisy, but it's actually, I read it as October. So if you guys, you may actually be manifesting somebody in October. This is a timeless reading, but if you guys come across this in the month of October, that's really good. It means your person's coming really soon. So I feel like the message you need to know right now is your, I feel like you are gonna experience a lot of joy in your life. I definitely feel like you're gonna experience a lot of happiness and feeling really comfortable. But I think what you need to realize is the, the universe is there to help you as well. So if you need, uh, if you are struggling, ask the universe for help. So it says distinctive potential. Oh, we have number 23 and 24. That's really good. So that's obviously you guys really leveling up. So we have rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. So we have this card as well. Love where you, where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. So if you guys are really getting grounded and I think it's also using your heart in the situation as well. So if you are struggling with a love situation or you're thinking, when am I ever going to be not single? It's definitely just focusing on the moment. And I know that sounds very plain and very simple, but it's so true. You know, like the more we ex experience the now, the more we're going to experience with our person because we have really, because you don't really want to not appreciate what you've got now, because by the time you get to a relationship, you know, you're going to be in a relationship, hopefully for a very long time. So you want to experience all the joys now. So you can really kind of get to where you're going. And for you guys, you are going to manifest somebody who's in their feelings, who when you meet them, it's going to be like, wow, amazing. So just beautiful. You guys are going to be so in your feels with each other. This is going to be somebody who is just really emotionally connected. There's somebody who's very open. Their mind is just like, wow. They have so much intellectual energies. They're very intellectual and they just love kind of expressing that to you. So for you guys, you're going to be stimulated with their mind and you're, you're going to stimulate their mind as well. So very intellectual relationship coming in. So we also have the fourth house of roots and the 10th house of reputation. So for you guys, you're going to meet somebody who is going to be all about their career, but also they may work from home. So they're going to be somebody who may have their own business. And the fourth house is all about somebody who makes you feel really, really comfortable. They're going to make you feel like absolutely like at home. I mean, the, the fourth house is ruled by the moon. It's ruled by cancer. So it's very much about you feeling cozy and comfortable. And you guys might have your first date, you know, kind of in, you know, in your bedroom or in your, on your sofa, you know, something that's very intimate and cozy. 
And the 10th house is you may meet this person through your career. It may be like a career driven relationship where maybe you work, meet them at work. Um, it could be that you kind of, they are to do with like marketing or business and they help you to market whatever you need to market, you know, that sort of thing. There's somebody who helps you on the side of your business and they help you to really manifest what it is you need to manifest, okay? So we also have the moon feeling. So this is very much to do with like how you are feeling internally. So when you meet this person, you're gonna feel really, really emotional. It's gonna almost trigger your heart to just open and make you feel very joyous and very happy. And just know that nothing is impossible. So you may feel like, oh, I'm never going to manifest anyone. When is anyone going to come in? You know, just focus on the now and focus on what you can have control over. And also switch your focus. Like for me, my, myself, um, I am very kind of driven focused. Like when I focus on something, I really focus on it. So for you guys, that's most likely the same for you guys. You know, if you have kind of a tendency to focus on something very, very intensely, make sure you are dis distracting yourself with something else and not to say you're not you're not that you're avoiding the emotion it's kind of like sometimes we can just get overwhelmed and sometimes it can be not very helpful for us you know sometimes it can be very uncomfortable and it can feel like everything is really on top of you so make sure you're really kind of connecting to your body and realizing that things will come in and trusting the process and i know it's uncomfortable but trust in the process this will happen there's going to be somebody coming in who feels really really comfortable for you and feels really really good okay so let's have a look at your tarot and let's have a look and see what else wants to come through okay so the first card we had out was creativity oh i love this card so you guys are really getting creative you guys are really embracing your inner child and we had the third house or number three so the third house is very creative very expressive and number three is all about communication so you'll really learn to be creative with your communication you may be starting a new uni course you may be starting a new course just in general or you might be researching something where you can really kind of get in depth with something and just really explore it and you may meet somebody through your creativity you may even meet somebody who is very creative okay so let's see what else we have so we have defeat we have passage we have disappointment we have the sun that was so random that was like sadness sadness happiness <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, it's definitely leading you to this, guys. I know it feels like uncomfortable right now. I know it feels scary, but you're going to get there. Yeah, we have the moon. So for you guys, the moon, I'm, I'm, I know it says fear. I'm going to cover that up because I don't feel like it's to do with fear. I feel like it's very much to do with emotional. Like we did just have the moon. So we have the five of roses competition. So for you guys, it's really recognizing that you have your own path and not to compare yourself to anyone else. So say if somebody else has like a really good relationship or a really nice partner, or you see someone and they look really cute, just be happy for them, you know, because that's their path and that's not yours, okay? So I do feel like you're gonna meet someone when you kind of realize to support yourself, because I feel like a lot of you guys have been feeling very uncomfortable and feeling like you can't manifest the right situation. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna manifest a really beautiful energy. You just may need to go for a little bit of uncomfortable energy. And if you feel like you've already gone through this, then that's totally fine. You're more in this energy over here. Obviously just take it as it resonates. So I do feel like with the Ace of Wings, I think this is pretty much the Ace of Swords. I'm not entirely sure but it feels like you're gonna have a massive amount of communication from somebody. And I feel like a lot of you guys are mainly in this section. You, ju you just have learned from the defeat and the disappointment. And also you may be just manifesting your creativity through this energy, through the sadness and really helping yourself to get there and feel really good. And I feel like this is very much about your energy and not so much somebody else's, but I feel like you guys need to know these messages so you can manifest the best possible relationship. And I do feel like for you guys, the person that's coming towards you, it feels like they are going to be very, very supportive of you. They're very, very expressive. They're very genuine. And they're somebody who really wants the best for you. And they're not somebody who's competitive. They're somebody who just generally wants the best for you. And they may have gone through a very similar situation to you. So just keep that in mind, guys. Like things will things will change for you and things will happen. It's just you've got to take your time and realize these things need to happen before you get there. But it's all because you need to come become the best person you can be in this relationship, okay? Or this situation. It doesn't actually have to be like a romantic relationship, by the way, guys. If you feel like this is more of a friendship, then obviously just pertain it to that situation, okay? Alrighty, so let's have a look at your person coming in. Let's have a look and see. Oh, okay. So we have the oyster. 
And we have the golden egg. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is your person. Someone who's very emotional and they're kind of holding it in. Let's have a look at you. Let's see what how you are in this relationship. The shark, interesting, okay. And then the connection, the tiger, beautiful. So this is definitely romantic. I mean, for some of you guys, this could um, resonate in a different way. So just take it as it resonates. So we have the hawk as well. So for you guys, you, you both are searching for each other, essentially. That's basically what's going on. And the tiger here is making me feel like there's definitely some sort of passion, some sort of sexual energy. If it's not sexual energy, it could just be creativity. It could be you're having a very creative companionship with this person. But I do feel like romantically wise, there is you're scouting out this person and they're scouting out for you. And the oyster is definitely this person is getting ready to crack. Like their heart chakra is really like wanting to open. So this person may be struggling with some sort of depression or as the card said, like disappointment right now. But I do feel like they're coming in strong, you know, like I feel like they're really realizing a lot of spiritual potential within them. Okay, so let's have a look at the shark in this book and we're going to see what he represents. Okay, but with me one second, guys. Okay, so it says directedness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. So it says, when in balance, intriguing, captivating, mysterious. When out of balance, sneaky, destructive. To bring into balance, honesty. So if you guys, you're the ones who are kind of being more honest with yourself, obviously switch the roles up if you need to. So I feel like for you guys, you're being, you're, you're becoming much more interested in what your needs are. Because I think for a lot of you guys, you've been, really been, you know, helping other people out and not really been focusing on yourself. So I feel like it's really important for you to just focus on what it is that you want right now and kind of like hold the mystery. If you feel like that makes you feel safe, then, you know, use that to your potential. And if there's something you're really working on, then, you know, keep that private. If you feel like you need to keep it private so other people don't have their opinions on it, you know, that could be, just, I think that's just an extra message to some of you guys who are working on like projects and things. But I feel like you guys could be working on some sort of project when you meet your person. I feel like the relationship is so intense. Like both of you are going to look at each other and you're going to be like, damn. Like, yes, you're the one. You're the one. You're the one that I want. <laughs> you're the one that I want. And that's what I'm hearing like over and over again. It's just like this person is ready to go. And you're ready to go. This person, their emotions are so intense. They're just going to crack, I feel like, at some point. And they could be a Scorpio as well. I'm picking up on major Scorpio vibes from this situation. Okay, so that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, look down below if you'd like a private reading. If you'd like to look at my crystal shop, the information is down below also. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. So let's see who you are manifesting in love. This can be a friendship as well, but obviously if I mention like sexual energy and stuff, then it probably is not a friend. <laughs> but obviously just take it as it resonates. So the first card we have is Amazonite. So it says, when your inner child wants a real talk with you, ask yourself what little you really want from life. Does it sound like what, you're, what current you would want if you could let yourself want it? Perfect. Now say it out loud for the whole universe to hear and go make it happen. Speak from your heart. This is really a very big message. I feel like some of you guys, you are possibly putting off things because you're scared of the outcome. It could be that you guys are scared of like losing your job, which I totally get right now. But also there's definitely an energy of like, I don't want to try it just in case I fail. And for some of you guys, you think I'm not good enough to manifest somebody. And I think also that I'm getting like, I'm hearing a lot of excuses like, oh, I don't have time for love or, you know, anything like that. That's not where we're going with this. <laughs> that's basically what, you know, that's basically what my guys just said. They said, we're not, that's not where we're going with this. You want to manifest somebody who's really, really amazing and who really, really suits your energy. Okay, so get ready, girl, get ready. <laughs> okay, so we have beginnings. Exactly. We have beginnings. We have pride, exactly, exactly, that's what I was feeling. Facing your fears, yep, mm -hmm. breach. Quinn, Kunx, complexity, 12th house, surrender, and Taurus. So you guys could be manifesting a Taurus, but you feel like you're in quite a complex situation right now. You're feeling like things just aren't manifesting, but it's because you guys are really needing to surrender some karma right now. So the 12th house is all about endings. It's about our karma. It's about our subconscious. So for you guys, there's definitely some old energy that's just slowly being released. So have patience with yourself. So we have facing your fears. Look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. So the person that's coming towards you is definitely going to bring a new beginning in. So for you guys, you are definitely starting a new beginning. There is some sort of pride in the way, 
that's maybe why I was feeling there was a lot of fear to do with love and kind of connecting and feeling like oh, I'm never going to manifest anyone or anything like that so just be honest with yourself and really acknowledge what it is that you want and I think it's definitely with this inner child situation it's kind of like stop putting your dreams on the back burner you know if you want something you can friggin manifest it okay so just give yourself the confidence to bring that in okay so the beginnings card is really making me feel like you may manifest this person in spring because we have daffodils but also obviously not for all of you guys that's just for some of you but we do have a lot of kind of bright yellow so there's definitely something to do with your solar plexus it's about your confidence within yourself it's about your confidence within holding your energy and for some of you guys you may feel like you have quite a few insecurities like i'm too emotional blah, blah blah you know you do not have to be perfect to manifest a relationship let's just say that because i feel like especially for us on a spiritual journey we feel like we have to have all the things ticked you know we have to have you know emotional security in ourselves we have to be really confident we have to be like non-judgmental of everyone and it's like that's not human you know being human is emotional and sometimes it can be really hard so we just got to be really kind to ourselves and the complexity is all about you guys acknowledging all the different facets of yourself and knowing that when this relationship comes around or this situation ship I don't know <laughs> friendship when it comes in it's going to feel really 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 comfortable and it's not going to be complicated at all I think you guys are used to a complicated situation and complicated relationships and confusion and frustration and feeling to like push and pull and sort everything out girl like this is not what you're going to have. You're going to have simplicity, calmness. And it may be scary. It may be you need to face your fears around like intimacy. It may be like when this person comes along, it may be freaking scary. And that's okay because at the end of the day, when you're feeling scared, it means you're feeling the emotions. And that's all very, very healthy. And at the end of the day, if you didn't feel a bit, bit, bit nervous or a bit scared, it wouldn't be a good relationship, you know, because at the end of the day, it's because you like that person, so that's really good. Um, and also with this, I think this is a clownfish, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, no, it's not a clownfish, a tigerfish. Tigerfish, pretty sure. Um, if I'm wrong, just let me know. Um, but this fish here is very brightly coloured, it's easily seen. You know, this, this energy is getting you to be seen, you know, letting you be seen because you are amazing. You have all these gorgeous facets about you and to not judge yourself on how you want to be seen. You know, sometimes we can feel very insecure some days, sometimes we can feel confident. So just really acknowledge where you're at right now and embrace those fears, embrace how you feel. And I'm, I'm getting really intense throat chakra stuff. That I'm feeling so there's definitely something around like my throat and needing to really express myself so for you guys there's definitely something around expression and around creativity and really just bringing that out so let yourself feel this guys because this is very very normal okay and it feels amazing it feels really really beautiful okay so we're gonna have a look at your tarot and we're gonna see what's going on for you guys in love Okay, so your main card you had was protection. Okay, so for you guys, you're definitely protecting yourself. This with a 10 of gems, I'm pretty sure is the 10 of pentacles. So this is all about you holding yourself and kind of making sure everything's perfect for you to manifest your person. You just gotta be yourself, okay? And every facet of you is important and needed, okay? Because without those things, you wouldn't be yourself. So, you know, what's the point? So basically, you guys are really getting over um, an intense possible relationship or situation and kind of coming into your new self and that can be scary but it's okay it's good it's all good girl it's all good okay we have tradition beautiful the hierophant so the hierophant is very much about our spiritual energy it's about you being in your spiritual awareness becoming your whole spiritual self and becoming much more confident with who you are and what you believe in so you guys got to really embrace your realism. So you may even be manifesting a um, king of pentacles, which is king of gems, king of pentacles. So you guys might be manifesting a Taurus. I think we, I think we got Taurus before. Do we have Taurus? I'm not sure. Anyway, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. And the joy is very much like just letting yourself feel the joy. I feel like you guys are really going to manifest somebody who's very practical, somebody who has quite a lot of ideas. And there's somebody who just really wants to give you all of this, all of this gorgeous energy. And with this illusion card, I feel like you guys need to stop kind of thinking too much in the past and giving yourself anxiety. Because I know it's, sometimes it can be really easy to go there because that's what we're like, you know, everything feels linear when you're a human. But spiritually, spiritually, everything is, is kind of like, you know, a whirlwind, essentially. Nothing is like a straight line. But you guys are getting there, you know, and really focusing on 
what you what your values are and not being swept up in kind of like looks or anything like that obviously you're going to find your person extremely attractive um you may also meet your person at work it could be something with the work related um but also it's kind of like there's so much victory here focusing on what you have done and all the things that you've accomplished and really being proud of yourself because there's going to be somebody who's going to celebrate those victories with you one day and it's going to be so damn beautiful okay and embrace all the joy that you have in your life embrace what you're really really good at and embrace your creativity and all the things that you love about your life and all those things and just let yourself feel you know and also have some fun like have some fun like what do you find fun in this life what do you think is fun and just letting yourself do it and I think as well, when we're focusing too much on the future, we're not, obviously we're not living in the in the present moment, but we're also trying to control some things out of our control, you know? And there's a quote by Eckhart Tolle, I'm pretty sure, or is it, is it no, I don't think it's Eckhart Tolle. Um, I can't remember his name. It's totally gone out of my brain. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza, I think, says this. And basically he says to predict your future uh, you need to create it and I'm pretty sure that's the right quote but that's kind of like this energy it's kind of like you guys are going to manifest someone so beautiful so grounded so gentle so homely you will create that within yourself before you meet them okay so let's have a look at your person and the connection you're going to have and let's get a little bit more detail on that Alrighty. so who are you in the connection Ooh, fiery. Yes, queen. Who are they in the connection? This one? Not sure about that. Okay. Who are they in the connection, please? Okay, that's too many. This one? Okay, so we have the owl. So the owl is very, very wise and underneath we have the crow. So this person is very, very practical but also extremely spiritual. Okay, there's somebody who will give you a lot of good ideas. So let's have a look at this relationship. This relationship, wow, beautiful, so spiritual, oh my lord. Okay, so this is them, this is you here. Um, obviously switch around the characters if you feel the need to, whoever you can um, relate to. So we have the moth. So you guys are both going through an extreme transformation, extreme darkness is being revealed and you're really stepping into your light and that's so good. Like I'm getting this massive Aquarius kind of like, boldly going where no man has gone before kind of kind of energy it feels beautiful so with your energy I feel like you're very very bold you're somebody who wants to be noticed who wants to be seen and you're somebody who cares so much you have a very big lion heart you want to care about everyone you love giving hugs and cuddles and just really very physical touching person that is you the person you're connecting to is very wise they're very kind of when you look at them you look at them and you think they've got everything together you know like they've got their life together which actually underneath the surface probably not so much but basically they're somebody who really takes a lot of pride on their looks and they want you to see them in that way and the same with you as well it's kind of like vice versa so we're gonna have a look at the black egg and we're gonna see a little bit more detail on this lovely card it's one of my favorite cards all the eggs are my favorite cards I love them so the black egg is the fifth chakra of the throat. And I did mention the throat, so that's amazing. So you guys, this is learning to speak your truth. Actually, um, this, this is literally what my guides are saying. Actually having a relationship where you can talk to each other. Because I feel like some of you guys, why, why were they saying that? Why are you saying that? Because for some of you guys, you've had a relationship where you haven't been able to speak your truth or even talk about situations or arguments you've literally just had an argument and then walked away from each other and it's not been resolved and it's been bubbling and bubbling bubbling and then it's never been able to express itself so for you guys that may be the energy that you're working with right now and I'm getting a very bad headache at the back of my head so it, so for you guys you may be releasing a lot of that old karma from old relationships that may be why you haven't manifested your person yet because it's not been time okay so with a black egg, this is very much about the throat chakra. It's about speech and expression, especially good for writers, editors, and musicians, and teachers. So basically it says, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things like, Others want to hear gossip or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. So basically, it's kind of living your truth and this relationship, you're gonna feel like you can really express yourself and be your whole authentic self. I am so excited for this, this is amazing. And this is just, I feel like you guys are gonna connect so amazingly. This could be between a fire and an air sign, this could be between water and earth sign, you know, it, 
obviously just take it as it resonates guys okay but i feel like your person's very wise there's somebody who's very 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 attractive as well you're going to find their mind like very very attractive so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and if you would like to check out my crystal shop that is also down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so the first card we have out is the gorgeous labradorite this card i don't normally get which is very good so i feel like for you guys that may be what you're saying you're like when you meet this person you're like i never thought i would meet someone like you basically so with labradorite it's very very spiritual very high vibrational this crystal is really good for channeling and it's very good for keeping you grounded when you're channeling as well so it's a very grounding but also very high vibing crystal so it says when you've lost faith when you've lost your faith in magic the world is a weird wonderful whimsical watery rock hurtling through space and you're on it and that makes you special gaze into labradorite and delight in that so it says who needs it adventurers exploring far off lands places alchemical spiritual artistic and dreamy any pisces so some of you guys could be pisces but i feel like you guys are really exploring your spirituality you're letting yourself just be really open about it and i think that's bringing in a new relationship that's very much suited for you so we're going to look at the tarot in just a second so we have sincerity enjoy the journey beautiful i feel like there's definitely a water sign in here Oh, okay. I was, I was very, very convinced there's a water sign, but I definitely feel like some of you guys might be Pisces. Um, but I do feel like you could also be manifesting a Pisces. So we have enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. So for you guys, it's being very, very gentle with yourself. And you could be also manifesting a Leo or a Capricorn. There's definitely energy of like challenge and confusion. So I feel like this is very much to do with you pushing yourself into a box or telling yourself you have to do this. And I think what's really important is you will manifest the best person for you, okay? And when they come along, you will definitely know who they are. And especially with enjoy the journey, like enjoy what you're doing right now. Enjoy how you're feeling right now. And sometimes it can be very confusing, but really recognizing that if you can stay present and flexible in the moment, that's gonna really, really help you in the future, okay? So with the many changes, I feel like you guys are really going through a lot of emotional and spiritual changes. You're going through a lot of changes in yourself and you're realizing what it is that you need to do that suits you. And also some of you guys are not even going to expect this person to come in because you're so focused on yourself, which is amazing, which is great. I love that. Very, very, I'm very proud of you guys. I'm <laughs> very proud. So with sincerity, this is very much about the crown chakra because the, the purple is all about the crown. So for you guys, you may have felt kind of, I, got, I just got the message that you may feel isolated. You may have felt like you have like chains on your ankles because you feel very just very stressed and very stuck with this energy of sincerity it's really just letting yourself feel these things but also distracting yourself if you need to like do the things you need to do you know when you, to make yourself to make yourself feel better and sincerity is very much about just kind of calmness and almost just balance you know having balance in your life and making sure you're having balance as much as possible so your mind may be feeling very busy but i feel like when you meet somebody who's so special for you most of the time it's going to be a surprise so i feel like for you guys it's definitely going to be a surprise this could be somebody who's very creative very work orientated you can meet them at work it could be a kind of situation where you're stopping yourself from meeting this person because it is work orientated and it may be a work environment but also that may be the challenge <laughs> that may be the challenge it may be you really enjoy this person's company but you part of you feels like oh i shouldn't go for it freaking go for it guys you know if it gets you fired you know just i'm hearing just take the risk and i know that sounds very very weird but the universe is like you need to do things for yourself not for anyone else and at the end of the day i feel like you guys can very much hide this if it is something that will affect your work i just hide it that's what they're saying the, i feel like my guides are like just like three women chilling at the pub with their gal pals just having a drink and just talking about gossip and it sounds really funny <laughs> when they're talking about this this situation because it feels like oh just go for it just go for it girl don't even worry about it like that's all the messages that i'm getting which is so funny and i love that i'm sorry if you can see a fly flying around by the way he's just chilling he wants to be in my reading and it's very very annoying i'm like go away please but i'm sorry if you can see him he's just chilling so 
with the Capricorn energy, it could be that you fancy your boss. So that could be one thing. But also this person's very, um, not bossy, but they're very authoritative. So they're somebody who will sort stuff out. So when you're in a rush or when you're in a rut and you're confused and things are just really uncomfortable, you're going to feel like you can really manifest your goals. And they can be like, you can do it. You can do it. They're, they're, they're like your main cheerleader. Okay. They're going to be somebody who's like, yes, queen, I'm your number one fan, you know. There's somebody who can really take care of you as well, especially for you guys who are, who are, um, what's the word? What's the word? Give me the word. Those of you who identify as a feminine as well, that's especially for you guys. Obviously not for all of you. If you don't manifest, if you don't acknowledge yourself as a feminine, that's totally fine. Okay. So, but also, also all of us have feminine energy. All right. So some of you guys could be feeling very anxious right now. You could be feeling very stressed and very confused and like, what the F is going on? Like Vicky, help me. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I'm like, help me. Um, so for you guys, I'm going to see what wants to come out of this anxiety. I feel like some of you guys are just worried that it's not going to happen or you're thinking, okay, if, what if I do something wrong? What if I say the wrong thing in my manifestation? Like, don't even worry about it guys. Just let yourself feel things. Okay. It's not going to be a perfect line and you can't control this beautiful we have the king of cups absolutely amazing this person as i say the motivator somebody's going to be your main cheerleader okay okay so we have possessiveness so some of you guys are feeling with the four of pentacles and the two of cups beautiful i love this okay i have so many messages to say and i'm going to pull all of these cards because i love them so we have the princess of Sh roses we have the princess of shells and we have the prince of shells wow lots of shells okay so we have opposition <coughs> sorry guys i had something in my throat so seven of wings opposition so for some of you guys you could have met people who were very opposite to you but you kind of kept the relationship going so for you guys when you meet this person it's going to be a brand new cycle this person's going to be very romantic they're going to be a massive charmer they're going to be somebody who's so pretty so attractive and they're going to be very very sensual so you're not going to be able to resist this person this is going to be full-on aerial little mermaid vibes that could be a synchronicity for you guys and this is kind of reminding me of narnia a little bit with the little horn thing but this little seahorse is like yo dude go, go over to that person they're really attractive <laughs> like i'm getting so many weird messages <laughs> I don't know why, but it just, it's so funny. Okay, so I'm hearing the song um, Kiss the Girl from Little Mermaid, and I'm hearing like the lobster, is it a lobster or is it a crab? I'm not sure. But the little main little guy, the sidekick, that's like the seahorse. He's like, come on, like kiss kiss the girl, you know, kiss the man. <laughs> so for, for this person, you basically, for you guys, you may stop yourself from feeling um, emotions about this person because part of you is scared or you're just not sure this is the right person. This is me telling you now that when you meet your person, this is the right person. This is me telling you now, this is definitely the right person. And the four of pentacles here is all about you holding your emotions close to your chest. So hold, make sure you don't do that, guys, because I feel like you guys are going to get massive amounts of romance. And someone who's so adventurous, someone who really wants to do so many things with you, who's going to be like, boom, 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 like, let's go out, let's do this, let's do that. And you're just like, oh, my God, I'm not used to this. <laughs> but you're going to be so excited and it's going to be really, really, really fun. And it's going to be so romantic. You're going to go on romantic dates. The intimacy is going to be beautiful. And this person's just going to be very, very natural with you. You both can have a very, very beautiful relationship and it's going to feel just very, very natural. And both of you are very similar. OK, so if you can become the best part of you right now, the best version of you, you're going to manifest someone who's also the best version of themselves. And you have a really mature and adult relationship. And it's going to be really, really fun. OK, so let's have a look at you and the person and the situation in the relationship so let's have a look at you first let's see how you're showing up in this relationship okay we're not sure about that one let's pull again whoa okay that's much better that's what i'm feeling okay so this is you you are the peacock i'm hearing this little guy looks scared don't be scared <laughs> okay this is your person very i always get virgo from this this b so it could be a virgo that you're manifesting as well and we have the cheetah as your relationship you guys are going to move really fast wow oh my god okay you guys are both scouting each other out you're both finding each other you're both realizing that 
this is your soulmate, this is somebody who is so beautiful for you, so perfect for you. And okay, so the relationship, if you can see the bee is facing the peacock, but the peacock's looking the other way. So essentially you may not realize when this person comes in, you may be like, I have no idea, I have no clue. And then your friend goes to you and nudges you and it's like, You're, that, that, that guy's looking at you, you know, that girl's looking at you. You know, and you may not even realize because you're so kind of in your head or doing something with work or something. Space key is going to be a very unexpected situation. And the peacock is very much about its proud energy, really kind of letting yourself be seen. Um, so I feel like your person is very busy with work. I mean, very, very Capricornian energy or very Virgo energy. Sorry, I got that bit of glitter on my table. Um, and the bee is very much about being very busy. So this person works really, really fast. And so do you. I feel like you're like, Ooh. so when you get excited about something, you get really, really excited about something. It's kind of like me when I channel, I talk really fast. I know some of you guys can't understand me when I talk fast, but honestly, I can't help it. That's just how I channel. So, you know, that is the T. So with the cheetah energy, this is about you moving really, really fast through this energy, moving really, really fast, just like when you meet this person, you're going to be settled into this relationship very, very quickly. And it's going to feel so damn comfortable. Like both of you are almost going to be like best friends. It's going to feel really, really good. Very, very fun. And you're both just going to be really, really excited about the relationship. And you just want to keep it going. Okay. So the person you're going to be with is somebody who's very organized. They are somebody who will, will really always think of you first. Okay. So they'll always be messaging you, always calling you, or, you know, they have the same communication style as you. They're going to be pursuing you. That's what I'm hearing, pursuing you. And obviously um, reverse the roles if you feel the need to. Um, but also the cheater is, is making me feel like a sense of security. This relationship is going to make you feel very, very safe. You're going to feel like you can really be yourself with this person. And it's going to be very, very fiery. And just embrace it, guys. Just let it happen. It's coming in. And I feel very happy about this. And I'm picking up on the number seven for some of you guys. It could be seven weeks, seven days, seven months. But I feel like for some of you guys, this is this is quite soon, this relationship. It could even be like two months or two weeks. You know, it does feel very, very soon. And I'm feeling for some of you guys, it could be manifesting somebody who could be from a different country. Um, it could be like a long distance thing for a little bit. But also it could be somebody who looks like they're not from your country that you're in. So it could be they lived, have lived there for like their whole life, but their parents are from a different country. So they look very different um, to say you or, you know, a lot of people around where you live, um, but they're very attractive and you're, you're just gonna mag be magnetized to this person like immediately. And I'm seeing you guys maybe meeting them at a train station. And that sounds very random, but I'm just seeing you guys like a train coming in and you're meeting them, they're on the train. Um, so you literally could even like meet this person on a train, you know, that sort of situation. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below for that. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my lovely group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. So the first card we have is Aquamarine. I love this. Isn't this so pretty? I love Aquamarine. Especially love using it in my jewellery because it's just so beautiful. So if you guys want a crystal recommendation piece, um, you can get that in my crystal shop down below. So it says, when you've lost your voice, when it's past time to let it go, or when you're feeling a little too in fuego for polite company, ice yourself down with Aquamarine's cold shower vibes. Keep your cool. Okay, so it says, who needs it? Those who run hot, fire signs, anyone hanging anybody hanging on to an unspoken burning desire so some of you guys could be fire signs watching this you could be manifesting a fire sign i'm picking up on um like all the fixed signs so aquarius scorpio leo and taurus yeah i, I for totally forgot what i already mentioned it's quite late here guys so i'm sorry if i can't remember things so okay let's get started with our reading so we have patience and prosperity beautiful perfect for fire signs i know you guys can be a little bit patient same here i'm scorpio ruled by mars it's not fun but there we go <laughs> okay we also have push to the surface okay let's bring these over here and then let's get these ones ninth house very very saggy energy sextile opportunity and libra so some of you guys could be manifesting a libra so okay lots to talk about so the first thing I'm going to talk about is this section here. So we have patience and we have prosperity. 
So for you guys, you have so much blessed, so many big blessings coming towards you in love. You have so much love coming towards you, whether it be in friendships, whether it be in good co-workers, whether it be in really good um, kind of financial relationships, or whether it be in romance. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you just need to have patience. And also you guys are growing. I'm hearing you're growing. And parts of you are expanding and some some parts of you are decreasing because you are letting go of them you know like the aquamarine says you're letting go so it may be feeling kind of overwhelming and you're kind of wanted to escape you wanted to travel you want to get kind of get rid of it or remove it but this is uncomfortable but for you guys you just got to spread your wings and let yourself feel it and just because you're growing doesn't mean it's you know pointless it doesn't mean it's going to be un uncomfortable but some of you guys, it could be a little bit uncomfortable and just having the patience to know that prosperity is definitely coming towards you. So we have push to the surface number 27, which is also two and seven or the number nine. So you have, you may become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Be aware of the dynamics in your life. This is very much to do with, um, I'm feeling like, this is a very random message, but this kind of reminds me of like, say like the mother pushing her baby up to the surface or it's like somebody's trying to push you into the spotlight or trying to push the blame on you so for some of you guys it, this could be a, a kind of like a, a test or like you know a lesson in your life to kind of stand your ground um but it also says you might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy so really changing up your environment will help you get this new surge of energy you may be feeling very lackluster and kind of like you've kind of lost your spark so it's really important for you to seek out new adventures. So what are you passionate about? What makes you excited? What makes you feel really, really good? And I feel like for you guys, it could be traveling. You could be meet, meeting someone through travel. You could also just have this, this opportunity is going to come very, very naturally. So this could be somebody you collaborate with in career. It could be somebody that you, there's some sort of communication coming in with this sextile as well. Some sort of opportunities being granted to you. And Libra energy could also be you can meet them in like a clothing store. You could um, see them and they're very like well dressed. Every time I get this Libra card, it's somebody who's very well dressed. So I feel like it's going to be somebody who you're like, wow, this person's so attractive. Like how are they single? Are they single? You have all these thoughts in your head and they're running around. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a chick flick where there's kind of like the kind of voiceover, like talking about the character and saying like, oh, he's attractive. Like I really want to go up and walk up to him you know something like that so there's definitely something being pushed to the surface there's definitely some old emotions coming up but it's for a good reason it's so you can clear them and acknowledge them and sometimes they can be really really uncomfortable but when it says you may be, have be, become complacent it's kind of like bringing this new energy into your life can be really really important so bringing in some like more happiness into your life and also wow i just came out my body and went back in again oh my god sorry about that guys Woo. That was very strange. You guys might be having that a lot. Like sometimes I do that when I'm doing readings because it's just, I don't know how that happens. I think being a water sign, it just happens naturally. <laughs> Not the most fun thing. Some of you guys might be having like really intense dreams and just feeling like your subconscious is so overloaded. So really do some meditation guys that will help you clear out the clutter and help you to keep going because there's a lot of energy changes. There's a lot of stuff happening in the world. There's people being opposing to each other. There's like anger coming up girl there's a lot there's a lot of change happening so if anyone's trying to push you forward or it could be the, even the universe is trying to push you forward to help you realize something about your love life but yeah it's definitely somebody coming in who feels almost angelic to you they feel almost yeah they, they have like a very angelic energy i feel like butterflies are a really big symbol for this person so when you see butterflies that's a really big sim symbol and synchronicity so i feel like to pull this card for green number four safety so if you guys might be working on your safety it says in the hurricane of life a strong foundation will keep you safe so safety is very important and this can come in the form of you know talking to yourself journaling you know or just taking five minutes to just chill and relax and just allowing yourself to do that and not be thinking about okay what we're going to do in the next five minutes just focus on the now and letting yourself you know daydream you know or letting yourself feel feel things and we have the perfectionist so you guys may be feeling quite perfectionist about your love life, feeling like, okay, I have to have this manifestation technique, I have to do this, 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 and this, and you know, I have to be perfect for this person. You do not have to do anything, you just gotta be yourself. I know sometimes that can be really hard, especially if you guys are a Libra, that can be very hard, but there's definitely energy of somebody coming in who thinks you're perfect, you know, who thinks you're so perfect. And there's gonna be somebody who comes in and sees all your, you know, quote unquote, bad parts that you don't like about yourself. 
and they're going to be like, I love you, I love you so much, you know, they're going to be so intensely connected to you. I feel like this person drives, for some reason I got a car, and they were sitting in their car, I mean, we do have the messenger, so this person's coming in with some sort of message, um, they're very romantic, they're very adventurous, okay, so you guys got to clear out that perfectionism, I mean, obviously the perfectionism is good, keep it, but also not, not the negative side of the perfectionism, you know, releasing that negative side, and yeah, I feel like this person's going to come in with a really big message. So they might message you on social media. Um, it might be that you, th it could be that you kind of upload a photo on Instagram or something and you think you look really bad, but then and you're being like a perfectionist about it. And then someone com comments on it being the person that com is coming in and they're like, oh my God, you look so attractive. Wow, look, here we have the princess and the prince. Beautiful. This person is going to make moves on you. They're going to be somebody who really, really adores you, and they they find you so attractive. Okay, they find you so, so, so attractive. Respect. Yeah, they find you. They find you very, very respectful. Like they have a lot of respect for you. It's going to be a very mature. I'm hearing outspoken relationship. When I say outspoken, I mean this person will speak exactly what they're thinking, and it's not going to be like like this. It's going to be very, very flowy, very easy. Okay, we also have luck, which is so beautiful, the Wheel of Fortune, wow. So you guys are really changing your love life. Your love life is gonna change so much. So basically the start of this situation is gonna be somebody coming in and messaging you. That is what I'm feeling is the main situation. Wow, we have the lovers as well. Massive amount of attraction for you guys and signals. So this person may be giving you slight hints, but also they might just be like, but I love you, you know, <laughs> like really telling you. And for you guys, the relationship is going to probably move quite quickly and you're going to get like, okay, something's going to go on your throat chakra. I'm feeling the need for like, my throat really itches and it feels really tight and very uncomfortable. So you might actually feel like you can't talk to this person because they're so attractive or because the energy is so intense between you two. It's gonna be like magnetizing, absolutely beautiful. And you're gonna get so many synchronicities when you meet this person. It could be roses as a synchronicity. It could be numbers, it could be um, feathers. I'm actually hearing a ladybird. So look out for ladybirds or ladybugs. That could be something for you as well. Okay, sorry if you guys heard me burp, that's clarification. Okay, so let's get the last lot of cards. Let's see about this connection and both of you together. So who is this person coming in, please? Who is your person you're connecting to? Getting like a very attractive energy around, yeah, someone who's got very, very high sex drive as well. Somebody who is um, just very passionate. When they're passionate about something, they're really, really passionate. This is so funny. We have, we've we had this card before in another group, so that's amazing. So let's have a look at the relationship between you two. And let's see what's going on for you guys. Sorry if you guys heard my phone buzz then. That's a message. <laughs> it's a sign it's a signal okay so your relationship is the snake and the nightingale two animals i would definitely not put together and then we also have the hawk this hawk has been coming out all evening that is so interesting so as i said for the other groups this person is scouting you out they're watching you they're waiting for you so it could be somebody who follows you on social media who, who follows you and they haven't like kind of come out yet and spoken to you so this being you or this being your person you know take it as it resonates so I feel like this being your person here, I feel like your person's very passionate. When they're passionate about something, they're really, really passionate about it. And for you, being the peacock, you're going to be noticed by this person. They're going to be, I'm hearing like a cat, like on the prowl sort of thing, like waiting for a mate or finding a mate. And for this relationship, you're going to really realise a lot about your throat chakra and how you speak in relationships and how you express yourself. There's an energy of not be, being able to feel comfortable um, kind of showing your real self. So I feel like for you guys, you're really going to learn that this person is going to love you for who you are. And there's no need to kind of hold yourself close to your heart. You just need to express yourself. And as I'm talking, my the energy that I'm feeling around my throat is being drawn down to my heart. And I'm getting a bit of acid reflux. So some of you guys, your heart is really opening. So just be aware that this is some really intense energies. And when you start to feel possibly a little bit anxious or out of breath for no reason, it could be because your heart chakra is opening, okay? Um, and it could, or it could just be the energies, you know? And just really try to calm yourself in that moment. Because I feel like you guys are really going through like a massive energy of like setting yourself free. And the nightingale is very free, like he's sitting on this little kind of moon or this little blob, or I don't know what this is, but basically it reminds me very much of the throat chakra. 
So it's very much about you finding your person, feeling really cozy with them. You're going to have a very cozy, intimate relationship and you're going to feel like you don't have to entertain this person. It's going to feel very, very natural and you can easily just be in this like, little cocoon with them. And I feel like for some of you guys, I'm hearing pregnancy. This reminds me of pregnancy, like the flower of life. That's what that is. So some of you guys are going to be pregnant. You're going to have babies uh, with this person. Planned pregnancy, I'm hearing. But I am hearing for some of you guys, just make sure you do have contraception. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So just be careful. Uh, but yeah, so I feel like this person is going to come in. Really, really amazing connection. Very, very fiery. I'm hearing a cat purring and it being like, like that. Like I'm, I can hear that right in my ear. So I feel like for some of you guys, it's going to be just a very intense connection. This person's going to want to get to know every single facet of you. It's going to be so beautiful. And I'm getting a desert for this person. So this person might um, have originated from a country that's very like desert orientated, maybe like Texas or um, Arabia or kind of uh, Africa, you know, somewhere like that. They may be living there now or they may have family who originate from there or ancestors who originate from there and they could take a lot of pride in their ancestral line. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you want a private reading, all the information's down below. I have my crystal shop link down below as well if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon.